Okay, we're back, and what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Shorty here, which is in fact a Toonie Terror. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the package, but unfortunately I ripped it out of its package. It's not in the greatest shape, so you're going to get a kind of a, a good idea of what it looks like. You can get these at Target. I'm not sure about um, Walmart or nothing like that, but you can get them online through Big Bad Toy Store, as well as other places like Amazon, but they'd be a little bit more expensive through Amazon. But anyway, let's look at the package here. As you can see, it says Shorty, and like I said, I pulled it out of its package, so it's a little mess, okay? There's nothing else in here. It does come with... Hang on for a second here. Hang on. We're having operating difficult. There we go. All right, it comes with this little stand, okay? All right, and it also comes with... the big stand okay and we'll talk about that in a second let's get back into the package here all right the top of the package as you can see is kind of damaged but you get the idea okay it's very cool looking the side of the package too many terrors same thing with the other side okay now the back is very cool you can use it for a background drop if you choose to do so okay That bike is cool looking. That's what he rides on. You can imagine him actually trying to sell that bike. That thing would be a pretty penny. Alright, but enough about the package. Let's get into the actual figure. And then we'll talk about the popcorn clowns. Now, those guys are truly evil. Alright, let's get under the wire here. Okay. Shorty. That's what he looks like now. He's a Toonie Terror, so he's not exactly as you see in the movie. Because they give him a cartoony uh, feature about him. And they're very cool. I got a huge collection. And you know what? I completely forgot to grab my other um, figures. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put him back up here. I'm going to shut this down. I'll be right back because I'm going to bring out some more, okay? So you can see those and compare the differences of them, okay? Be right back. Okay, we're back. And now I will tell you this. I do have the complete set of the standard clowns that you see in the movie. So they're, uh, I got all three of them now. I got Slim as well as, I don't know what this one's called. Fatso, I think it is. Sorry about the camera. But anyway, I got all three of those. And I don't have Clownzilla. I'm sure they'll push out one, but we'll see what happens. Uh, articulation wise when it comes to this figure the arms do move up and down but that's pretty much it all right see that dish, dish. okay the collar is really cool looking now the, the top of the head okay that's very cool looking ding 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 all right now, he's got very similar colors to that of uh, Tim Curry's uh, Pennywise from the uh, miniseries from the 90s. He's got similar colors with the exception of the green and stuff. But. Okay. Side of the arm. Okay. And obviously the bottom of the stand. Okay, now I will pop this off real quick. So you can see that. Now, it does have a hole in it. Most NECA figures will do this, with the exception of the cloth ones. Those, for some reason, they don't drill holes in them. I don't know why they don't do that, but anyway, it is what it is. So, um, but anyway, these have holes in them because they are two new terrors from NECA. And the bigger figures, you know, the full-size figures, those also have it, too, as well. Okay. Hang on for a second, guys. We're having operating difficulties here. There we go. I believe we got it. Yeah. All right, enough about Shorty. <clears throat> Let's get into the popcorn clowns. When I seen this figure in Target, I mean, I was like, holy shit, let me get that damn thing real quick. And I did. Okay. These guys are evil little fuckers. Okay, look at that shit. That's cool as fuck. 
I'd love to get a full size figure of this thing here, but I'm sure they would charge an arm and a leg for it. Okay. The top of the hair, you got different variations of colors. I think they were very cool the way they did the clowns here. Very cool designs. You can't go wrong with that stuff. All right. It's flat, so this will stand on its own. Now, they have a certain amount of flexibility, and I believe you can pop them out of their popcorn stands. But I'm not going to make that attempt. And that's the popcorn. Clowns. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll show you the other two. Now, I showed you this um, in other videos if you've been keeping up. So, here we go. This is Fatso. And I will show you something else towards the end. <clears throat> I did them in uh, other videos. I think this thing is rather cool looking. Now I glued the actual pie onto his hand because it kept slipping off. And because I don't have no kids, I don't have to worry about it. I just leave him sit on the shelf. Alright. And it's got the stand. Okay. Keeps him standing up. Now, I got uh, three more figures based on this guy, Shorty and Slim, through uh, Trick or Treat Studios. They should be coming in whenever they come in. And we'll do videos on those guys when they come in, okay? Okay, that's Fatso. Let's get you over here. There we go. Let's get into Slim now. Now the thing I was going to show you towards the end is this guy right here. I do have the uh, Spirit Halloween gun based on it. And I knew that was going to pop off. Okay, hang on guys. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Which in a second here, guys. Got to snap him back down. Right. Okay. Not quite yet, guys. There we go. All right. There's Slim. So now I got all three of these guys. The gun. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's better. Side of the arm. Top of the hair. Reminds me of the gun. Which I'll show you here in a second. Okay. There you go, guys. So I'll be right back because I'm going to show you the gun. That's going to take a little bit of time to get through because i got to show you the special effects. And I'm sorry for shutting it off and turning it on. But we got to get through the stages, so I'll be back. Okay, we're back, and we're going to show you the gun that Slim holds. And sometimes Shorty holds it to it, if I remember correctly. But anyway, here's what the gun looks like. And you notice on the top here, it's just like on top of his head a little bit. All right. So let me pull that back a bit. There you go, that's what she looks like. Show the other side. Now, I like to show this gun in all the Killer Clown videos. It's just something I do. It's like a tradition. Because I think this gun is fucking cool. Alright, so let's just turn this bad boy on. Now, we're going to show you what it does. Are you ready? I think that's absolutely cool. The sound effects and everything. Now, I did mention the fact that uh, Trick or Treat Studios. Yeah, I did. I think I talked to you guys about it. That will soon come in. <clears throat> 
whenever I don't know when but it's been a while it's been like three or four months and I haven't see, seen anything about it so when they come in we're gonna do videos on that and I'm gonna show you the gun again that's what I do all right we're gonna shut that off and that's pretty much it in a nutshell when it comes to the video I'm gonna be moving on to other videos because I just went shopping at Target I end up picking up shorty there and I got the uh, Halloween Ends uh, NECA figure based on Michael Myers. Now that movie was very controversial in some ways. Um, they actually grinded him up towards the end. Uh, whether that was Michael or not, we don't know. It could be that uh, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's uh, character could have snapped and said, I'm going to save you, Michael, because you're my brother. Who the hell knows what they're going to do with that. But anyway... I think Miramax has got the uh, the TV rights to Halloween now. They might do a um, uh, a TV show based on it. So we're just going to have to wait uh, and see. And they're going to reboot the franchise again, so we're going to see what they do with it. Anyway, long story short, I do have other packages that I will be doing. i got three separate videos behind these, uh, so stay tuned for those. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be doing obviously more videos okay and this is house of horrors you guys have yourselves a good day